Okay, let's just say it. it's getting hot. And do I have a great suggestion for you? So if you're looking for a great American wheat beer and one that will surely make you look like a connoisseur, then join me on this tasting. My name is Eddie, and I have tasted and sampled many beers from all over the world. And it is my passion to help you find that perfect beer you're looking for. Whether you're looking to try something new or there is something very specific you're looking for to pair with your food, I got your back. Welcome back, beer lovers. Thank you for spending the next few minutes with me. As I said in the intro, my name is Eddie, and on this channel, I taste and review all kinds of beer and give you my most honest opinion about them, as well as some ideas to pair them with your food, just like the one you're about to watch. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell button there, that bell icon, so you're notified every time I release a new beer review video. So now, Let's get to it. Today, like I said, it's getting hot. You guys know this, I'm in Florida. I'm actually bringing you a local favorite today and one that is surely made for the weather that we are starting to get down here, which is hot and humid and kind of nasty. So it's good to have a great beard to help you ease the pain of these hot days, hot, you know, almost summer days. So today I have none other than Big Top Trapeze Monk. And this is a wheat beer. And by the way, wheat is a Belgian style that where wheat is actually, it actually means white, right? And the true wheat beer, uh, Belgian style wheat beer is brewed with, and it actually says so here, brewed with coriander and sweet orange peel. So a wheat beer is always, is traditionally brewed with um, orange peel and coriander. And so, it adds a lot of fun for your taste buds back there. So I'm going to open this bad boy up. I'm actually using a tulip today. And you've seen me use a tulip for many different kinds of beer and for the Belgian wheat beer, we definitely recommend a tulip. So if you always want to make sure you have the right glass for the right beer, Maybe you want to get your own Beer Connoisseur TV set of glasses. So head down to the description below so you can get your own set of glasses and even look like an even better connoisseur. So we always start with where, right? The appearance. And we always look for the three C's of appearance. Color, clarity, carbonation. Look at that color. Bright yellow. It's definitely, I would... I actually thought this was going to be hazy. I think it's pretty clear. It's a pretty clear beer, even though uh, sometimes a lot of wheat beers could have a little haze to it, a little sediment, but not this one, my friend. This one is definitely clear. I would call it medium action. I do see some fast rising bubbles. However, look at that foam. It almost dissipated already, maybe what? 30, 45 seconds, you have barely like an eighth of an inch there. Um, so there's your appearance of the beer there. Let's go for the aromas. Okay, yes. The orange aroma, it's a lot fainter than I expected, than I expected. I can feel it, but it's only a hint of it. What I feel towards the front, it's a lot more actually of the, of the maybe like spicy, Malts, not a lot of hops in the aroma. Yep, I'd, I'd, I'd say it's a lot of maybe that spicy or maybe even a little uh, piney uh, maltiness that I can smell. And definitely it's just a little, like I said, just a little bit of hint of that, of that um, orange peel there. And now, let's taste it. Wow, I'm actually pleasantly surprised because to be honest with you, after the, 
the aroma, I thought it was going to be kind of weak, but no, it does have a great all around taste. So it starts very, very crisp, very um, dry in the, in the front end. And then I do feel that maltiness, that kind of bready maltiness in the middle of the, of the taste there. And towards the back, I did feel that little hint of, you know, kind of like spice. Maybe that's what the coriander uh, working there. And I could not feel the, the orange, uh, to tell you the truth. I could not feel any of that on the actual taste of it. Definitely, I call this light body. Um, but very, very refreshing, which is what we need right now. And, um, you know, it's not like it doesn't have taste. It does have a great taste. And I can't wait to enjoy this outside uh, right by the pool. So the part that you come to me for and the part that makes you a connoisseur, right? The food pairings. When you look at the traditional wheat beer, you're looking at a, at a lighter beer, right? So you, you definitely want to pair that with lighter foods because, you know, the beer doesn't, you want to pair lighter beer with lighter food just so everything complements each other. Specifically for the trapeze monk here, which is a local favorite, and I'm actually going to recommend some local foods here in, in Florida, but I would say if you want to start with a salad, for example, do a salad that has uh, maybe some goat cheese and walnuts with it. That would be a perfect pairing with this beer. Also, this would go great, you know, with what? Because it's summer and, you know, almost summer. Basically, let's just say summer. If you're outside, you want to, you know, want to start fire up that grill. Some grilled shrimp skewers. Oh, that's going to go great with this beer. Because again, wheat beer goes great with seafood, shellfish specifically. And, you know, being grilled, it's going to pair really nice with this beer. Um, also, if you're looking, you know, I already told you that I'm going to give you a local uh, fair here. So local beer, with local food. I'm going to say conch fritters. We like conch fritters down here. Yes, especially if you are a little bit further south than me in Key West, right? So Big Top is brewed down here in Sarasota, but we're close enough. We like our conch fritters down here. So this is going to go great with those conch fritters. And finally, if you're looking for a cheese pairing, we're looking for some of the lighter cheeses. So go for it with a goat cheese, and that's going to go great. Now, you know, you can always count on me to reveal you a secret down in the description below when it comes to a dessert pairing. So go down there to the description, open that up, and that will surely make you look and sound like a connoisseur. Plus, you're going to have fun with that too. Now, let me ask you, is trapeze monk something you've tasted before? Have you paired it with food? What's been your experience? What's your opinion of it? Leave me some comments in the description below, in the comments below. I like to learn what your experience has been. Maybe you have some even better ideas on what we can pair this, this great beer with. You learn from me, I learn from you, and we both become even better connoisseurs. So there you have it, my friends. I hope I have helped you increase your beer knowledge en route to becoming a connoisseur. Uh, maybe I help you find a new beer to try or want to impress your guests and friends at your next gathering. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you're notified every time I release a new video. Be on the lookout over the next few days when I will release another great beer review video and one for these hot summer days. Until then, enjoy!